Oh, the Martin Pipe Handicap Hurdle is next then, and big field for this one, and it's a two and a half mile handicap hurdle, 0 to 140. The top one is Spares Entertainer for Darren Thompson. Have another for Craig Beckwith, Dane Timeout, Daniel French, Joburg Pencil, James Shea, Blackstone Peak, Tam King, Fluvi Orvini, Gerard, Troy Paul Rhodes, Transfixed Ori, James Shea, Blackmore Entrant, Martin Lidham, G. La High, Kevin Minahan, Signatory Oki, Thomas Rogers, Extreme Valiant, Martin Lidham, Taylor's Lyath, Alex Cherry, Seal Team, Paul Rhodes, Teams to Masquerade, Thomas Rogers, Emerald High, Derek Hinton, and Shady Reflection for Ryan Costello. 17 of them then. Pad on the first four. And away they go. And it's Transfixed Warrior that's being driven into the lead by the pilot. Then they've got eight flights to take. So not that many hurdles. So they're going three furlongs further than they last hurdle race that I commentated in and they're not jumping any more hurdles so Extreme Valiant have another and Transfixed Worry are virtually three in the line at this point and they're about two lengths clear of the remainder are headed by Seal Team when they've sorted themselves out there's a long old run to the first flight and the Nose Banded have another on the outside of the Orange Jacketed Extreme Valiant is on the outside of the Green Jacketed Transfixed Worry they're the leading three and there's a gap of three lengths then to Tam King's Bleakstone Park and Darren Thompson's Spears Entertainer with Seal Team for Paul Rhodes, the ground on the inside is Sigmund Rioki for Thomas Rogers, and then Troy is on the outside of that one, and they skip over the first flight uh, eventually and have another. It's just about in the lead by about a neck, maybe half a length there to Extreme Valiant in second. Transfix Warrior is third, and a bit of a gap then to the rest of them. We're headed by Bleakstone Peak or Blackstone Peak, even. They make their way down towards the second flight. And have another as seemingly won the battle to lead. As they've got a full length up as they take that second flight, which will be the last next time round. And they will now swing left handed and go out for a full circuit of the track. And have another in the lead by about a length to Extreme Valiant Second, who's half a length up on Transfixed Worry. And a gap of about two and a half to Signatory Oak, who's moving into fourth. Here comes Spears Entertainer in fifth with Blackstone Peak and Dane Time out after that one. Then Troy, Joe Pencil on his outside. Seal Team is tucked in nicely on the rail. And G La High and Taylor's Lyath. Just behind that one, Fluvial. Then Blackmore Instrument is after that one. They take the third. The Derek Hinton Grey is Emerald High. And then the Green Jacketed Teams to Masquerade. After that, and the one that's just a little bit detached at the back is Shady Reflection. But over the fourth, good jump by the leader. And they all hurdled that well. Shady Reflection is beginning to drop off at the back, and I think he's probably out of contention. But it's have another who's a good two lengths clear now. Transfixed where he's gone second. Extreme Valiant jumped that in third. Got up nicely around the outside. Joburg Pencil. Then Blackstone Peak. Signatory Oki the Grey is getting significantly closer. Spears Entertainers tracking, tracking that one in the claret jacket. Then on the outside of that one is Troy. Seal Team might just get boxed in for room if he doesn't watch it at this point. They're inside the final mile now then. And let's have another. Skips over the sixth. That's the third from home. Bit of a mistake towards the back by G. La High. But Transfix Worry might have just poked his head in front there. From have another. Blackstone Pigs moved into third. Extreme Valiant starting to tread a bit of water in fourth. Then comes Joburg Pencil. Seal Team's got that split through and has suddenly shown a good bit of acceleration to move through on the outside of Extreme Valiant there to take a share off fourth as they race away from us. And you can see the stand in the distance. They'll be swinging there towards home soon with two more flights to take and have another. He's trying to battle back for the lead, but Blackstone Peak is the one going really well on the outside. Transfix Warrior is in third. Then Seal Team going well. Extreme Valiant still there. Then Troy. Then Spares Entertainer. And Joburg Pencil. Signatory Oak in Dame Time out shortly between these as they take the second last and Blackstone Peak might have just poked his head in front from have another on the inside but have another's got the rail between the two of them is transfixed where his seal team's run might have just peaked today extreme valiant started to get going again troy is still there so's joburg pencil dane time is going to try and come widest of all signatory oki and spears entertainer are trying to run on but they've only got two and a half furlongs to go and one flight left to jump and he says go on blackstone peak blackstone peak has kicked on and has suddenly gone two two and a half clear racing down towards his final flight blackstone peak looks in control at the moment but have another is trying to fight back 
Troy is running on from the pack. They come to the final flight and suddenly the leader hits the wall and have another goes on again. It's have another who's suddenly gone too clear. They're racing into the final furlong. Have another with Troy and Transfix Worry trying to close. Have another needs a line to come, I think. Inside the final half furlong, Transfix Worry and Troy are beginning to close on. Have another. Have another's trying to hold on. Here comes Transfix Worry and Troy on the outside. It's got to be a head bobber and I think he's just held on. Have another mother just held on to it there. Post motto came just in time for Craig Beckwith's nose banded front runner. I think it's on the nod. Oh, I don't know now though. I don't know. Troy might have got up. Oh, the angle is very deceptive. It looked to me as though Have Another had won that. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. It's a short head win for Troy. Paul Rhodes gets his Cheltenham Festival winner. And well, you've got to, you've got to feel sorry for Craig Beckwith because that looked like it had won to me. Have another in that original, with that finish, it looked as though he just held on. But it says there, Troy got up by a short end. So Troy for Paul Rhodes is the winner. Have another for Craig Beckwith is second. Transfix worry for James Shea was third. Blackstone Peak for Tam King, who looked all over the winner, jumping the last was fourth. And Fluvial, who barely got a mention in the race at all, must have run on really well from the back to claim fifth for Vinnie Gerard.